Hi, I'm Todd with Terra Onion, and today we welcome you to our FPGA Direct for 2020. I know everyone's excited to hear about our brand new announcement, however, let's go back and revisit some of our existing products and then we'll get to the new stuff. In late 2016, Terra Onion bust onto the scene with a Neo SD, which is the world's first Neo Geo flash card for both AES and MVS arcade systems. This one flash card allows you to play the entire library of Neo Geo games on a single cartridge through a micro SD card. With 768 megabits of flash memory, even the largest Neo Geo games can easily be played. Play unpatched versions of games like King of Fighters 2003 or Mark of the Wolves with ease. And our easy to use interface makes navigating your Neo Geo game collection a snap. We followed this up in 2018 with the Super SD System 3. This all-in-one module plugs into the rear of a PC Engine or Super Graphics and allows you to play CD-ROM, Super CD-ROM, and even arcade card games in glorious RGB output from these consoles. The Super SD System 3 continues to be very popular among gamers, and we constantly sell out of it as soon as we have inventory in stock. And since it has integrated support for all the different system cards, it makes a very appealing option for people who want to experience the NEC software library. And then in early 2019 we released the Neo SD Pro, which is the upgraded version of the Neo SD, which now has four flash memory slots and a hyper-fast RAM slot, so gamers can keep four games loaded in memory at all times for instant gameplay. And as of last summer, we added Neo CD ISO loading support to the Neo SD Pro, making it the most cutting edge and full featured Neo Geo flash cart on the market. Bar none, the Neo SD Pro is at the top of the Neo Geo food chain. Nothing else even comes close. And finally, this brings us to mid-2019 with the release of the Mega SD cartridge. If you watched the last Terra Onion Direct, you'll saw where Alex revealed the Mega SD to the world. The Mega SD is an all-in-one cartridge which contains both a traditional cartridge-based uh, flash cartridge and a full FPGA of the Sega CD hardware and a single cartridge. It can go into Genesis, it can work in a Mega Drive, it can work in a, a Mega SG, it can work in the Nomad. It allows you to play these Sega games on any of these uh, Sega consoles and have full cartridge and CD support in all of them. With support for the entire 16-bit Sega cartridge library and all of the CD games, the Mega SD is the premier Mega Drive and Genesis flash cartridge. And just a few months after delivering Mega SD into the hands of gamers, we added support for the SVP chip, making virtual racing also run. Finally, it's time to reveal our brand new project, and it goes by the name of Mode. Mode is an FPGA-based optical disc emulator for the Sega Saturn. It supports both 20 and 21 pin consoles for maximum compatibility. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Did I say Sega Saturn? My bad. I meant Sega Saturn and Dreamcast. Yes, you heard me correct. Mode works on both Saturn and Dreamcast consoles. The firmware is the same for both, and it just detects which console it's plugged into. Mode is a completely plug and play solution that requires no soldering. All you need is a screwdriver to remove a few screws. Mode stands for Multi Optical Disc Emulator. This single board supports both 20 and 21 pin Sega Saturns and works in all revisions of the Dreamcast. Mode has three different storage options. You can use a common micro SD card, a 2.5 inch laptop style serial ATA hard drive or solid state drive, and we also have a USB port for a USB thumb drive or a USB hard drive. One thing that I want to mention is that this is a pre-production PCB and the final board that ships to consumers will have some changes to it. For example, the USB port on the final board is located on top for easy access. And the mounting system in the hard drive retention bracket wasn't finalized in time for this video, but we'll show those as soon as they're ready to go. And while this pre-production board has four Saturn connectors, shipping boards will have just two connectors, a 20 and a 21 pin. Let's talk about some technical details. The Spartan 6 FPGA handles the interface with the CD-ROM or GD-ROM to maintain proper timings and transfer speeds. For GD-ROM, it handles the ATA registers, read-write, DMA signals, and basic ATAPI packet reception. Once a packet is received, it's handed to the MCU, which processes it and generates the proper response packet. In case of data transfers, sector reading, it handles the sector buffer, receiving data from the MCU and sending it at the proper speed. Also, the FPGA converts the sector buffer to serial audio output for the CDDA sectors. For the Saturn, it generates the proper data clocks and handles the command interface. When the MCU loads a new status, it does the status send and command receive and hands the commands to the MCU for processing. As with GD-ROM, it handles the sector buffer transmission at proper speed, 1x or 2x. In the Saturn, the MCU generates the proper sector security signals and data too. 
With all that out of the way, we also have 100% compatibility with the redump sets of Dreamcast and Sega Saturn games. Mode uses standard Ben and Q images. No longer do you need to hunt for obscure GDI format rips of Dreamcast games. However, Mode supports that image format too in case you already have a collection of them. And instead of buying expensive SD cards, serial ATA hard drives and even serial ATA solid state drives can be bought cheaply. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at a cost breakdown between high capacity SD cards and serial ATA drives. A SanDisk 512GB microSD card comes in at around 90 US dollars, whereas a 1TB serial ATA solid state drive costs just a few dollars more at 110 US dollars, yet it has double the storage. And an even better value is a 2TB Seagate hard drive that costs just a mere 80 US dollars with four times the amount of storage as the microSD card has. Even though it has three storage options, we think the serial ATA is going to be the most popular one simply because of the availability of dirt cheap SATA hard drives and SSDs compared to micro SD cards and even USB thumb drives. The Saturn catalog is about a terabyte in size, and the Dreamcast catalog, even though there's less games, they're bigger in size because of the GD ROMs, so you're looking at about a terabyte and a half. And this is just original games. This doesn't include any kind of fan translations or any kind of other uh, patch games, uh, homebrew, anything like that. This is just the original catalog. Another benefit of mode is reducing load times. Even though mode maintains strict read speed timings, we can still substantially reduce load time since there is zero seek time. A spinning CD is terrible for seek time as the laser seeks across the surface to the next air to read from. Solid state media doesn't have this issue. Even a spinning hard drive will greatly speed up load times compared to the original media. Mode is also region free. Play Japanese games on a US system or Euro games on a Japanese console and vice versa. Mode has also been tested with a wide variety of accessories and console modifications. On the Dreamcast it works with DC Digital, the Dream PSU, and Pico PSU mods. It's been tested on the Saturn with Action Replay cartridge, Pseudo Kai, FRAM mods, works with the MPEG card too. Finally, let's take a look at our menu interface. Mode offers two different interfaces. This is our basic or standard menu. It's designed to be very similar to what the Mega SD has. It's a quick interface with a little extra fluff. By pressing the Y button on Dreamcast or the Z button on Saturn, you can quickly switch between games on the SD card, SATA drive, or USB drive. One thing to note, you cannot use both SATA and USB at the same time due to power concern issues. So you can use the SD card and SATA or SD card and USB together, or just one of any of the three. Mode will also have an advanced game cover artwork style interface as well. This is a database dependent menu that will auto scan and sort your games on the hard drive, SD card, or USB drive. To complement this, we have created a contributive web app to generate the database. We will show all this off in the following weeks once it's completed. But regardless if you use mode in a Saturn or Dreamcast, you'll have the same great experience with the same interface on both. Huge thanks to Hugo1994-1994 for helping us with filling in screenshots in the database and Sean Beeson for the menu music. Also thanks to AlienPDX and Manuel for menu graphics. You can pre-order your mode today for just 199 euros, which includes shipping from our web store, which is shop.terraonion.com. We anticipate it will begin shipping in late June. We appreciate all the support that the community has given us over the last several years. Thank you for joining us at this year's Terra Onion Direct. Stay safe and have a fantastic day.